Hi, I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donsko. I'm Henry Larson. I'm Peter Turetko, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, Game to Love fans, and here we are. We're well. Don't forget, it's Guy Fawkes night tonight. But I can guarantee we're going to be seeing some fireworks on court tonight because we've got the Russian rocket up against the Swiss sparkler, and we're going to be in for some cracking tennis. I hope from these two, uh, well, legendary players, shall we say? Hey, it was a good intro. It's lifted the mood a bit because I've been waiting so long for this match. Obviously, we thought it was going to be half seven, then it went later and later. Manorino, we didn't anticipate how well he was going to be playing. Uh, we thought Sverev would get it wrapped up relatively quick. Oh, no. but it couldn't have been any longer. The first set, it was like 11-9 in the tie break. The next one was like 9-7. Um, so the, we went the distance for sure. I think it was well over three hours. It must have been. Oh, it was so long. I just thought, what, what the hell was going on? But Manorino, credit to him, he played really well. And as Zverev squeezed through there, so he's not looking so confident now going into the next round. Going to be a little bit tired. So who's going to be facing him, though? Just kicking off right this second. Uh, and it's going to be, I believe, Stan Vavrinka who's going to be serving first. And good first serve by the looks of it. Yeah, so we go through uh, their route so far. Yeah, why not? Let's just uh, have a quick look. Uh, never much ready to talk about in the early exchanges. Just thank you guys for joining us. I know it's quite late. We've been waiting for a long while. We've been really excited for this match. Obviously, the inform yeah. uh, Rublev recently off the back of winning a tournament. And then Ravrenka, more like the seasoned pro out here. Um, we know he's been around for a while. Very consistent. Uh, yeah. But does he have enough to take on an inform Andre Rublev? Well, very, very informed. Well, as you can see, Stan Wawrinka went out in Vienna to uh, Christian Garin, which was a bit of a shock, really. Shock of the tournament, or the shock of the early rounds, anyway. Yeah. Uh, and just before that, in uh, St. Petersburg, losing to Denis Shapovalov, who was playing very well there. But, yeah, as you said, the man who's really the one who everybody's got their eye on, Andre Rublev, and you see his form looks something... A bit like this. <laughs> and it's, well, it's actually a bit oh, similar no. to Zvera, I believe. Stan's just gone tumbling down onto the floor there. Not sure what happened. I think he's okay. He's got up. Hopefully. It's never good when you see someone go down like that. No, he, he hit the yeah, he hit the floor quite hard there. I think he got his, oh, uh, his ankle sort of just gave way a little bit. That's what I mean. I don't I hope it's not. I hope we've not waited all this time just to watch him uh, concede <laughs> after about five seconds of play. But yeah, oh. you just got looking down the form there. There's so much green. Rublev has won so many matches in a row. Mm. Very similar to that of uh, of Zverev. Zverev's on a ten winning match streak. So it'll be interesting yep. to see if Rublev does play Zverev. Who's going to end whose streak? Oh yeah, uh, exactly. Then a two in four man. But Wawrinka, I feel like he could have something to say today. This is not a a, uh, a very it's not a simple uh, victory for Rublev, in my opinion. Well, if Wawrinka plays the standard of tennis we know he's capable of, and he lives up to what he's been saying recently in uh, the press that he's going to be working uh, as hard as possible to try and actually uh, get maybe another Grand Slam in his final few years. So he better have a signal of intent in these uh, early early games because he's well, already got looking good mate he's already taken a tumble and he's facing a break point <laughs> the worst possible start <laughs> against red hot rublev do you want to make the scores a little bit bigger ben i don't know it just seems all quite small to me no it's the same as normal mate. so i try to make it so i try and make it a bit bigger usually you have it more central right i don't know i can try and make it a little bit bigger yeah that's okay there you go. the same no, that's better. That's how it is now. It wasn't like that before. All right. Apologies. Apologies. No worries. And with that, Rublev, I believe, has just broken. Wow. <laughs> There's <laughs> me singing Stan's praise, mate. He could be over very quick, opposite to the one earlier. Uh, and like Thomas Rock said, 
Lord, I was born a stumbling star. <laughs> that was a good play on words there. And uh, Chris Mir there jumping in. Hey, Rublev, easy today. Only concern is a potential tie break. And, uh, well, he's trying to throw all of those out the window straight away with that early break, isn't he? But well, as we know, he's called Diesel for a reason. That first set, I wouldn't put it in and put your hopes on I do on think him. he's going to lose the first set. I don't give him much of a chance in the first set. That was always my prediction. And then I think, well, it's hard to say. I think it will. It could maybe go to three sets, but then Rublev's going to have too much. It could be like a 6-2 third set or something. You never know. I think uh, Wawrinka's best chance is going to be a tie break or something. At what point does Andre Rublev, when, when does the gas tank finally run out for him? Or is he just running on pure adrenaline? I don't know. He's just playing so well right now. He just needs to keep the rhythm going. I don't think he wants to have a break. Do you know when no, you're no. just playing so good, you just want to keep, you can't wait for the next tennis match. You can't come around sooner for him. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, he well, Don't forget, it's not a break unless he consolidates here though. So he'll be looking to uh, try and hold his own serve and he's love 15 at the well, moment. Well, we see how he's serving today because he's been serving so well recently and uh, so far he's had two first serves go straight into the net. So let's see if he picks that up. I'm sure he will. Let's see if he can maintain the power throughout the whole full match as well. Because playing with his like high intensity, it's really, really difficult to maintain that, I'm sure, over the course of two weeks. Yeah, so let us know, guys. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you want to win, more importantly? Yeah. The exactly. winner of this will be facing an inform Alex Ferev. And that's another first serve he's missed. He's not got a first serve in yet, Rublev. Is there, there's a double fault. <laughs> oh. Here we go. And this is the first sign of the time. Is he getting a bit tired already? <laughs> I'm only into this. He looks first. Like he is. He's blowing heavy. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Maybe he's just sat well, to the waiting. They've been doing so much like... warm. They've been warming up for about three hours. I was going to say, I bet he was probably just been watching that Zverev match and probably that's tired him out just watching that. Yeah, Chris Mir jumping in. It's not the only, only the number of wins. It's uh, that all these wins were very convincing as well. There they were. He's not very, obviously he didn't uh, get even have broken in the whole of the last tournament. His serve, so he's been looking very convincing. If he was to get broken here, it'd be a signal of intent from the stand the man. Yeah, but just doesn't know the way Rublev is playing. You feel uh, it doesn't really matter if he even gets broken. He's going to break stand again in the next one. He just got so much confidence. True. It's like oozing out of him at the moment. Oh, that's a poor shot from Stan. Oh, how has he dug that out? Oh, he stayed in the rally there somehow. Yeah, he's done super well there. I yeah, thought it was over. Oh, and that's poor. To get himself back in the rally, he's sort of the same colour as the court stand today, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> But <laughs> I'm not sure why he's gone with that. You were the colours, mate. I oh, know. Confused. There was one match the other day. I think it was Manorino's mat first first match of the tournament. Um, the, he was the same colour as uh, the back of the court, which was really confusing because when they were trying to hit a winner, I couldn't see where he was, and then suddenly he just came out the, like the darkness <laughs> to return the ball. I think you need glasses. Quite possible. <laughs> Oh, Rublev finished that off. Oh, no, he did it. Wow. He's not looking very good at all. I oh, know. What's happened? Cheers, Thomas Rock. The old super stickers are coming in. Might have a little surprise for you in this uh, episode. JG hasn't seen it yet either, so might uh, bring something out. Just yeah, well, I just want to add as well, we don't have the top tippers in this corner here. Um, I know. <laughs> we just didn't get around to it, but we'll get it sorted out for the next one, so... Yeah, Don't worry, guys. Nice. All these tips will be counting towards the top tippers of the month. And as a thing, it, it's a new month now, obviously, in November. So they've all started again. you got to get in there before Chris Mir jumps to the top. <laughs> 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 yeah, so advantage Rublev. It's a real tough going first service game, this one. He looks pretty very tired. So far, yeah. Mele is there just saying Rublev is the same colour as the court, just to annoy you, Ben. Yeah, well, this is it. They're both very wearing a very similar, like sort of greenish colours. Oh no, is that another yeah, double? Another ball? Double ball. Wow. Gosh. 
it's two happened. in his first service. Yet. He's not got. I think he's only had one first serve in as well. I don't know. He's I not serving very well at all. Past their bedtime, I think. I think he's not used to being up this late. <laughs> Gosh. What's going on? This is really uncharacteristic. He's been serving one of the best on tour, I think, recently. What time is it over there? It's going to be an hour ahead, isn't it? Yeah. So, like, 11 o'clock. Oh. Might suit more of a stand, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> I know. I think this pace is sort of suiting him at the moment. Oh, look at that. A good shot from Stan there, though. Cross court. Now he's attacking the net. He's in. Finishes it off the volley. Great play, Stan. Great point. Stan's getting back in it. Looking good. Yeah. Well, interesting. I didn't, I didn't go through and uh, have a look at the head-to-head -head between these two. I bet it'll be quite interesting. Maybe we had a just quick look at that, see if they've played each other before. Oh, go down through all them. Yeah, so they play each other twice, both on hard court and uh, one apiece. Uh, Nathan, Go down slightly. Can you not see that? Oh, no, no, there's, there's no, no more. more. No, that's it. Oh, okay. Last time I played was uh, last year in uh, Cincinnati and uh, Rublev 6 4 6 4. But he's been locked into a juice here. This is a long game. We're already yeah. nine minutes in and we're only on the second game. Yeah, Emma makes a brilliant point. Something we've been echoing really the whole time. <laughs> Stands are always a slow starter. If he, if he gets into his rhythm, he'll beat Rublev. Yeah, because that match went on so long anyway, the last one, I was trying to just get a little bit more creative with then try and make something for this live watch along. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, also, a massive thank you there to Chris Mir. Hey, with, cheers, uh, Chris. Thank Coca Cola's on me. <laughs> nice. Cheers, mate. Mine's a Stella. Yeah, I do have some beer left, but I need to probably get another one. How's my internet? Is it looking all right or is it looking a little bit laggy? No, it's fine, mate. Sure. I feel like I'm lagging. It's okay. All right. Oh, it's a good back and forth here between Rublev and Stan the Man. I can't keep saying, oh, that's wild from Rublev. I can't keep saying Vavrinka. Stan. Stan is going to be easier to say. The Red Rocket. A bit wild. And uh, he's very, very explosive. This is another... I'm going to try and use a few uh, Guy Fawkes puns, I think, in tonight's... <laughs> Wait, they've all stopped now. I can't hear any fireworks anymore. I know. They've been going off all night. I think it just... Just throughout that uh, Zverev match, and then as soon as it finished, yeah, they finished. I think they're all trying to get back in to watch the Rublev match. Oh, this is pretty uh, hard hitting. He's sort of dictating the rallies and Stan just sort of sticking in these rallies at the moment and then waiting to pounce. Yeah, it's all just very baseline. No one's really uh, mixing it up with much slice. Stan's now said, done that, now I've said it. Oh, that's a good oh, shot. Oh, Oh, and it's long. Yeah, he yeah. mistake. Well played, Rublev. Just injecting a little bit of pace. It was becoming a bit of a stalemate. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I mean. Like neither, neither player wanted 27 shots that rally. It's like neither yeah. player wanted to go for it. But there you go. Another advantage, Rublev. Can he consolidate? We're waiting for it. We've been waiting for it a long time. This Maybe this is Stan's tactic. Maybe we just tire Rublev out in the first few games, and then when he gets into the third set, he's too tired to continue. Stan takes over. I feel like it's got to oh, go that way a little bit. It's a good shot. Stan really peppering that uh, Rublev backhand. Oh, it's a... Oh, oh that's what lucky. a lucky net. <laughs> It's like it's a consolidation. It's like it balanced on the net, wasn't it, for about a second? What yeah. happened there? Is that a consolidation? <laughs> you always no. miss the early ones when you've had always. I was just, I'm just too, uh, I was just <laughs> shocked by that thing. I was just yeah, seeing... it's like, it's, it's like three times. It's like one of them basketball shots where like <laughs> going around the rim. <laughs> exactly. 
It's like an in and out. <laughs> oh. if, if there was a crowd there, then I think there would have been a lot of gasps after one of those. Chris shots. Beer saying double let. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Didn't know which way it, it was going to yeah, go. He looks, he looks seriously tired. Yeah, he's on he's, his um, he's breathing so heavy. Yes, and he just bent over with his hand on his knees. He didn't even yeah. try and return that one. I don't know what's happening to Andre. I mean, I would not be surprised. Watching these early exchanges, I think Wawrinka's going to win. And the, la the later this match goes on, the more it's going to favour him as well. Wow. You probably get some good odds now as well. Look at that. Another ace. And that's, yeah, everyone's uh... listening. Put your money on Wawrinka right now. Rublev <laughs> for me, looks, he looks knackered. He looks spent. <laughs> Maybe it's a tactic. He's just... Uh... Pretending. He's letting Stan get the early advantage. That's another ace. What? Didn't even make any effort to go for any of those serves. But Maybe that's, Macca, that's a one minute. That was a one minute game and it was a game to love. Cheers, yeah. Ben. Cheers. Do you reckon that uh, I'm missing all of the things today? <laughs> do you reckon that. What are you doing? You need to get up with it, Ben. Do you reckon it's that. Past he... your bedtime as well, is no, it? No, I think it is. I. I... Do you reckon that Rublev knows he's tired, and the, th the fact that he knows that he can't really play a full full match, he's got the break now. Maybe he's just going to go for his service games, and that's it. Surely not. Come on, this is getting a bit silly. I don't know. Maybe we're just getting ahead of ourselves. But for me, I've not been very impressed with either player so far. It's been not a very high level affair. Obviously, Stan went down early on, took a tumble. It's like an old man going over at the back of the court off his Zimmer friend. <laughs> Rublev is just, I don't know. It's not looking, I wouldn't be too happy if I was Jax right now. I'll put it that way. I'd be a bit worried. I know. However, saying all of that, he's still up a break. Yeah, he is still up a break. But he's still got a hold here. Still got to hold his serve because it could swing. The well, this, this little break, mate, having a little sit down on the changeover is going to do him the world of good. I don't know. He's just so still he's sat down. He wants to get up. <laughs> back out on court he's still there <laughs> looks like he's just having a if you compare this to the other day when we saw him when was it when he sprinted off the court was that in um, where was that what tournament was that <laughs> Vienna <laughs> that, what, that was, that was, was it. It. I think it was earlier in this tournament wasn't it no, was it not? that was Vienna last, was the last tournament he was in the semi-final of Vienna okay was it Kevin Anderson might have been yeah he just went sprinting oh yeah it was because of the medical timeout <laughs> he just went running off, didn't he? Ben said, "Oh no, Chris said, put the song on to boost to boost that boy." <laughs> I need to have listened to it right now. I know. I think he's been listening to it too much. He's just like worn himself out. Stan going to wear him out with long rallies. Oh, wild from Stan there. Oh, and we've got our first comment from Facebook. Now we're streaming hey. to Facebook as well. That's good that we know it's working at least. If you <laughs> sure. want to check, if you want to check us out on Facebook, go for, feel free to find our link and uh, go like us or whatever you have to do. Join the group. I forget even what the terminology is. But, um, <laughs> do what you have to do. I sound like an old man, <laughs> like a true Facebook user. <laughs> Join the group. And he's saying shouldn't be here, but ESPN uh, has an authentication error. Well, I'll just let you know. Rublev's up a break. It's two one. Fifteen love. But we were just saying he looks very tired. Yeah, but he's doing all right in this service game at the moment. Uh, Mary Sky is saying, will we have a watch along for tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow we're going to be doing multiple. Um, multiple. Probably two. I'll stick with two, but you yeah. never know. Might even do three. We'll see yeah. how long they are. If it's another Manorino Sphere, it's probably just two. <laughs> Maybe just one in that case. You just never know, do you? You just never know which one. But so he's not looking too bad in this game after we've <laughs> brought him off. He's 40 love up now. So Rublev, this is maybe he's doing the tactic that I said. Maybe he's just taking the off, but like, gets the break and then just takes the, uh... another game to love. Cheers. Wow, cheers. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's just taking stand service games off now. We'll see from this one. If he doesn't bother to return any of these serves again, maybe that's his tactic. See, maybe I'll be right for once. 
Mate, it's a weird, weird tactic. It's not something you can rely on. But he has been serving so well. In theory, if he has the break, he should be okay. He shouldn't need to exert too much energy on anything else. Exactly. And he Get an early stand. break and just, keep, and just serve, serve it out. Exactly. He did that to Stan last time. 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. Just took one break each time. Maybe he knows the way to beat Stan. Oh, Stan, oh. wild forehands. Again. Gosh. I think if Rublev beats Stan playing like this... It's crazy, like, because Rublev's not even playing his best. And that'll just show a real champion, like, mentality, I think, if he's able to beat Stan, not even playing that well. The way Rublev's gone right now, you'd even fancy him to be winning uh, the finals in the, in the O2. <laughs> Chris Mir. I wouldn't be surprised. What's the best necklace, Rublev's or Safin's? Ooh, I don't know. I'd probably go with Safin, to be honest. I'll go for Zverev. He's got about eight of them. Yeah, no, he's got a few to choose from normally, doesn't he? <laughs> Things reduced it down to about four these days. Might have been a bit heavy on the neck. Here we are, 30 15 in this one. I don't know. Is, is this his name? Possum Lev. That's <laughs> fooled the Stanimal. Playing Possum. Yeah, well, he has fooled us, but he's still in it. It's only one break at the moment. There's still something about this tournament. I just missed last week's, like the the atmosphere from last week's one. Even though I we agree, mate. It's people, so but, dark, isn't it? Like the, I don't know what it is. They they sort of have some good music on, then the in, intro when they come out is pretty good. But when you get into the matches, it's just. I don't know. We probably would have had some amazing uh, crowd reactions this week to some of the shots that have been played. There's been so many amazing yeah. shots, but yeah, it's, it's just seems. Wait, why don't you sing yeah. a song? Why don't you sing your Vienna song to lift the mood a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a backing track. Just go straight off it then. You got That's a it. mic there. You got everything you need. Maybe you have to change it up and have uh, Paris instead of Vienna. If Rublev does it again. Oh, no. Juice. I know. And Jack is joined us. How are we doing, Jack? Hey, Jack is hey, made it. Yeah, but Rublev's not been that impressive. However, saying that, he's at Juice on, on stand serving. He's 3-1 <laughs> up. He's not that impressive, but he's still like doing really well. <laughs> embarrassed Stan Varenka, making him look like an amateur tennis player. But, yeah. Yeah. So, Stan, another another ace. He's been pinging those aces off, hasn't he? How many aces is that now? Just have a hey, quick Chris look. wants a song. Five. We all want a song, Ben. No, no one really cares about the tennis. We all want. We're all here to hear you sing a song. Oh, mate, I'm not here to sing a song. My <laughs> neighbours are going to complain if I start singing this late. <laughs> Tom's saying, even... Ben, you need to sing in French. <laughs> singing. Je ne comprends pas. Melez, encore, encore, oh, encore. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And Jack is fuming. Not that impressive. He just looks very tired. He's struggling to catch his breath. Every oh. time he gets to have a, have a break, he's taking it and using every every second of it. It's another juice, though. Stan, what's he up to? Come on, Stan the man. Stan the man. Oh, he wants a second serve, yeah. Oh, he's going to get one. Oh. Stan, always a... He's quite a thick individual, isn't he? Like, thick set. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's always probably where he gets a lot of his power from, though. Very quite a stocky build for a tennis player. Mate, I wouldn't want to play him. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> can't imagine. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about as a tennis player, just someone. Oh who's... right, I thought you meant you. He can beat. <laughs> he can beat anyone on his day. He's got that in his locker, very much like Del Potro esque. Yeah, he's like an well, enigma. <laughs> he is. His three-time Grand Slam champion, Stan Wawrinka. Oh, so can Stan manage to hold himself? Oh, look at that. Rublev injects the pace. Stan answers back. I oh. think Rublev was tricking us. He seems yeah. all right now. <laughs> he does seem a bit better. Maybe he was just nervous going up against Stan Wawrinka. Maybe that's all it you was. You know what, just need to probably find a bit of rhythm. Possibly. Later on, he's been waiting around in the locker room. 
Think about how many times they've had to warm up and then warm down again. Yeah, I think uh, he'll probably have to play the uh, late match tomorrow. It's a good return there into the net from uh, Stan. Yeah, and it's a a break point again. We've had 23 minutes played. Rublev is threatening the double break. This is madness, and he hasn't even played that well. And he's if he gets a double break here, this is just craziness. Yeah. There we go. Stan serving. Oh no, he's oh, missed the first serve. serve. Come on, Stan. Rublev's lethal. You put this on his forehand, and you're in trouble. I think. Oh, he's gone for he, the back that's hand. why he didn't. No, he heard you. <laughs> he knew. JG's. JG's tips. <laughs> yeah, Chuck is threatening us already. Any more negative comments about Ruby? Calls him Ruby now. <laughs> Ruby Murray. Turn off prime comment commentators. So you're going to lose your job, Ben. Oh, no. Oh, another break point. Another break point. Here we go. Stan, the one looking tired now. Yeah, and Emma sums it up well. A bit too much wild hitting from Stan. He seems to be all over the place. This reminds me of um, Struff. Jan Lennon <laughs> Struff on a bad day. <laughs> you love, you love uh, bringing up Struff's inconsistency. Oh, it's a good serve. Brilliant return, though. Oh, look at that. And there you God. go. Breaks. Just Ruby, like Ruby, that. Ruby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. JG's got the uh, tunes. <laughs> That's the only song you're getting from me. Look at that. I like it. Maybe we'll do a cover of that for uh, if he wins this one. I'm surprised you've not already. That would oh. be my go to Rublev song. Ruby, 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 Ruby Rublev. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you win it? Yeah, man, everyone's mugging us off now. Apologies about saying <laughs> Rublev is not playing very well. We don't <laughs> understand wasn't. tennis. Be honest, he wasn't playing well, and he was he was literally looking just he, he tricked Stan into thinking that he's tired, and then he just turned it up. <laughs> I think he did. Stan was like, Oh, it's gonna be an easy day at the office, and then just one big forehand later, he was breaking his serve again. Ryan asked, Who do you think will win a grand slam first, Medvedev or Rublev? Well, That's based off what I've seen recently, I'm gonna have to say Rublev. It's tough. It's and you'd, tough. if you'd have asked me that maybe three months ago, I'd have been all over Medvedev. So, yeah, yeah. I'm still not convinced in the Grand Slams yet. I have to see Rublev do it at the Grand Slams. Why, Slam. though? He can do it against any player. Yeah, but you say that, but he's not done it yet in the Grand Slam. So, until he does it in the Grand Slam, I'm not convinced. Hey, Australian yet. Open. Australian Open was coming yeah, up. Yeah, that's why I'd want to see. If he, if he draws, say, a Roger Federer, he's just come back from a thing, I'd fancy him to, to, blow, to blow him off the court. Well, you'd think so, but yeah, I'm saying there's a Switzerland flag behind me. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> great, great, <laughs> patriotic. very patriotic. <laughs> nice one, JG. <laughs> oh, right, here we go. Four one, and can Stan make his way back in? What's his plan? That's what we want to know. And desperate times call for. Desperado measures. <laughs> gonna do, you do that line every podcast now. Yeah, mate. <laughs> and what's even better this time is got a bit of lime. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So, <laughs> oh, good serve. Oh, can you're a essential shop, you did, mate, during lockdown. You're only allowed out for essential uh, items. What's more essential than desperados? I'm talking about the lime. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that was in the same shop. It's fine. <laughs> That's about one of the, the the three pieces of fruit that they sell in my local shop. Limes, lemons, and bananas, I think. Well, James there is asking, who are we predicting to reach the final? Well, before the the, the tournament began, I had and the Dow Medvedev final, which I put in the bracket league, which we which we run. And I yeah. believe Ben had a city pass Zverev, if I'm not mistaken. Possible, yeah. Obviously, that's not possible now because City passes out. <laughs> Thanks I'm going to stick with my one saying Medvedev Nadal. So what about you, Ben? Who's your two finalists? Well, now, the way I've seen people playing, I'd probably have to say 
it's difficult because in the other side of the draw, I've got my dark horse, Ugo Umber. I'm going to have to still stick with him. He's going to cause an upset and go through down the bottom of the draw. And then maybe Umber Nadal final. That'd be good. I'd like hey, that. He's discounting now. What's he done wrong, mate? He's won 10 matches in a row. It's, well, by the time he gets to Rafa, he'd be exhausted. If he manages <laughs> to run around the court when Rafa's playing, I'd be so, so shocked. He's got like a... Yeah, if he's still got uh, gas in the tank whilst playing Rafa after all these other matches, if he plays Zverev and it goes to three as well. Yeah. But he's not through yet. Diesel's just warming up. He needs second set. Yeah, wow. and he consolidates. Five one. Wow, my God. I can't believe what's happening. <laughs> Well, I feel like I have to say the words now because I've watched it. Just like we're <laughs> ends on a different planet. <laughs> uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Ah, <laughs> oh, so here so we go. Have we seen, seen a baguette? Ah, oh, what oh, a return! Didn't even see it. Andre Rublev just fires it past Stan Wawrinka. He didn't even see it, did he? Hey, if we if we get a baguette, I'll go grab a beer. Wow. Here we go. Good serve this time. Great return again. Oh, I'm not calling it a it's a breadstick. <laughs> well, same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's good play from Stan because it was an amazing return from Rublev. Of course. Cool. Stan's getting a lot of hate in the chat. No. Stan, Stan Wawrinka's so trash. <laughs> Stan Wawrinka. <laughs> he takes, he's a slow starter. Mate, is it time to change my flag already? No, no. He's a slow, he's diesel, mate. Diesel. He only gets going in the uh, second set. You know that. And Rublev is going to get a little bit more tired, maybe. <laughs> Missed that one. I think all that happened with Rublev, he took one game off in that in the first set so far, and then that's it. <laughs> that was the game we thought he was dying. Mate, this looks very much reminiscent of Radu Albot Rublev so far. One this way traffic. Mad. Stan needs to maybe go back down to the challengers again. <laughs> that's harsh I know but fair <laughs> that's why uh, Rublev difficult to win a slam apparently he tries to kill every point yeah I see what you mean but the thing is he kills so many of them effectively so it sort of weighs yeah, it out a bit over uh, over five sets against the big boys though I don't think it uh it's worked in the past. And he, like we said, he's never won a set against Medvedev on the main tour. So yeah. that's what I think. I think that's where he needs to get past first. If he manages to play Medvedev and he beats Medvedev, I think we could be in for some crazy grand slam. Because uh, when you become that top Russian, because at the moment he's not. God, he's just he, well. He could become and, the top. Uh, I, thought Russian. To do him. I know you really want Stan to win, but he just doesn't look up to it right now. Guys, Sorry, Diesel, all right, give him a chance. Come on, you should be cheering him on. What are you saying see about the, the Russians? See the flag rippling in the background there. <laughs> oh, Ooh, good length cool. on that. Oh, Stan, oh. what is that backhand? Reckless. And this is a set point. We've had 31 minutes played. We've got a first set win. <laughs> well, this isn't much of a Zverev match, is it? It's just more a Schwartzman for Kina. So, oh, look at these powerful returns, and he literally takes over the point, and he's taken the first set. In a flash, he's broken and taken the first set and won wow. at 6-1. That's ridiculous, mate. I'm absolutely flabbergasted uh, that that has uh, just happened. Let's have a look at some of the statistics, the statisticos. Five aces from Stan, though. And Rublev, two aces, two double faults. Well, look at his first serve percentage. It's up at 48%. Uh, a shadow of what we usually see. And then look at that However, one there. Still eight, What is that? First serve eight, point one. He's been winning everything when he gets the first serve in. Um, I just think overall, his overall games has been so good. For me, the return points is the big one. Off his off his first serve return, 48% he's won. Look at Stan, 18%. <laughs> That's not good, is it? What's going on, Stan? 
Maybe the second yeah, he, set. He's just overdoing all of them. He's just going wild with everything and everything. The forehand and the backhand aren't firing. Well, what's the total points one? Well, look at it there. Anything under five, uh, five shots. Wawrinka's won eighteen. Rublev thirteen. If anything, over nine. And uh, Wawrinka's only won one point. Wow. So for me, it looks like Wawrinka needs to keep the rallies very short. However, I feel like that does also suit Rublev. So I think what I can draw into this is that uh, <laughs> Wawrinka's screwed. He's probably going to be losing. Oh, God. The best thing he could have done is at least got him to like four all in this first set so he could at least wear him down a bit. Should have done the match before, mate. That was more of a spectacle. It was, but... but it's, still, got... it's still fun to watch this and see um, what level Rublev is at. Obviously, Stan come out early in the week saying he's not finished yet. He wants to win a big event soon. He's going to dedicate himself to the sport again. He wants to give his all. Whether he's just saying that to the press. Just maybe retire, um, I think. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm joking. I think Rubens Mate, Aslan is probably watching this thinking I could have beaten him. Well, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rublev's going to retire him. If he didn't want to retire before, he's going to be pushed into retirement by Andre Rublev. Let's see how he responds in this second set. There we go. There you go, love 15. Great start for Stan Wawrinka in the second set. Honestly, if Stan yeah. breaks early, that first set kind of goes out the window, I feel. That's what, that's what we want to see. We want to see a match of it. Come on, make a match of it. Come on, Stan. Good serve. So hard to get into these <laughs> Rublev service games, though. Right, especially when he's, when, you're, when he's stepped inside the baseline. You're kind of screwed, I feel. Oh, great shot from Stan. Oh, he's doing he's well, though. Mate, yeah. Yeah. Now, here we go. Great play. Yeah. Wow, what a shot. Stan's back, mate. He's back Diesel. for the second. You see, the engine's running. It's just getting a going, mate. It's just warming up. Now he's pushing Rublev around. Impressive. Oh, it's a great serve. Oh, too good. Mate, I'm one super chat away from having a beer. <laughs> I feel it already. Wow. Here we go. 15-30. Oh, let first service. I thought he was going to call oh, very, uh, A very definitive uh, yell, isn't he? Uh, Riblev. <laughs> Something like that, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, don't do that in my ears. <laughs> don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that um, the talk, Mary, just we need to calm down the talks of an epic comeback because he's just been pegged back to 30 or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that excitement's kind of already gone out the window here, unless he can force the break point. <laughs> Travel 21. Well, after one set, Jay Jim Ben advised Stan to retire. <laughs> Two points into the second set, he's back. You know, that's game to love for you. Wait, that's tennis, though. Tennis can change in a. Um... <laughs> it can indeed <laughs> as you know Sebastian Corda may as well just retire as well JG 2020 in <laughs> French Open <laughs> and Paul there sorry mate we're unable to show the live video uh, because we get pulled from YouTube but you can watch it I believe on ESPN or you can try and find it online to Amazon, any, tennis, any TV. Amazon as well, tennis TV also, any gambling sites, they'll all show it as well. Sorry about that. But here we are. Into the second set. Rublev. Is that an ace? No. no. Clip, the, clip the top of the net. He's enjoying the uh, net cord in this match. There you go. Oh, wild. Oh. Oh, was... <laughs> he's trying to take Stan out, I think, with that one. <laughs> trying to like, wound him. Well, he's done it to every every other player so far this yeah. year. Oh, and... Ooh, Stan almost went down again. Ah, he's no, missed that. Is... And Rublev holds. The opportunity there gone awry for Stanimal. And uh, hopefully he can actually hold serve here. We don't want to see him going an early breakdown. This is going to be curtains for him if he does, I think. 
What do you make of Josh's comment? Stan the man's backhand simply orgasmic. <laughs> yeah, when it's on. But, uh, <laughs> tonight, no. It is very, it's a very good looking shot, I must admit. But when it's not firing like today, maybe it's terrible. That, the word I would use is elegant for yeah. his backhand. The way he caresses well, the ball. Big, he's quite a chunky guy. He's so elegant as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like he could be like a ballerina or something. Oh, great serve. Another ace from Stan. He's been serving well as well, but somehow he's only won one game. <laughs> hey, it's because some of the winners he's gone for have been missing by about a metre. Yeah. Just been wild. He's been on the back foot for most of the match. Guido Bernard Bernardini there saying Rublev has been playing top three tennis. I keep yeah. telling Ben, I keep telling him. He don't think he can win a slam. He's not playing a slam. He's playing ATP tournaments at the moment. It's three sets. Yeah, and we'll ask was you're not so sure. I'm not I need him to prove it. I haven't seen I've not witnessed. What can he prove, Ben? He's in the form of his life. He's beating everyone. He played the US Open a few months ago. He lost straight sets to Medvedev. I'm just winding you up. <laughs> he is in the form of his life, though. And if anybody's on form on hardcore, he's on hard, on, on form. He's the best one this year on hardcore, really. Most wins. Oh, great serve into the body there by Stan. Just needs to make a game of it this set. Just hold your serve. Just go through the motions. Try and get it in to the business end of the set. That's what we want to see from him. Just get there. And if you can get there, then we might see a change in the uh, in the hitting. Because you know when he gets into the big points, Stan plays them really well. Well, in theory, he should get better as the match goes on. That's what we usually see with Stan. Exactly. So, so uh, as long as he can stay on serve through this second set, you'd fancy him to find an opportunity to break and take it, in my opinion. I think that's the, the key. And if he doesn't break, just get to the tie break. Because we know how hard it is to break Rublev these days. So, well, 40-15, looking pretty good so far. Just one more point. Good serve. There you go, Stan. Zhivavrinka. Zhivatu, one game on. So, very good. Stan holds, and he's doubled his game tally for the whole entire match, which is great. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> Here we go. Rublev. Wow. Ace. <laughs> Just like that. 211 kilometers an hour. Yeah. There we go. Next serve. 15 love. Great serve again. 30 love. <laughs> That's, so, a, that's the problem with these indoor hard courts for me. I just don't find it as entertaining as other surfaces. I find the points are often very short. And if you've got someone who's a good server, that's it. The match is yeah. more or less pretty dull. Yeah, what do you mean like a Zverev match? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, credit to Manorino. I thought you played brilliantly earlier. Hey, look, Thomas Rock's going to make you get the beers out, mate. He's a chunky, elegant guy. <laughs> there you go and with that JG has to run to the fridge to yeah go. I'll grab a beer there you go game to love and he's gone will he be able to uh, cheers before he gets back cheers Pink. so pretty easy service hold there for Andre Rublev and maybe he did just take that first uh, that first Stan service game off well, after he'd broken in the first set. Maybe he's just so confident in his serve at the moment. It's pretty crazy. Now he's all the pressure's back on Stan Vavrinka again. And Stan Vavrinka, I don't know, he, he needs to get into the bit by bit. Just take every game as it comes. Just get to that number two. You didn't get to it in the first set, get to it in the second set. Then number three, then number four. See if you can get there. Just need to see the business end. Here's a game to love, JG. You missed it. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Game to love. Oh, I'm Bira Moretti again. Yeah, mate. I've got to finish him off with only one left. There's nothing else in that household, is there? Mate, I'm not going out to get beer. We're in a lockdown. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 
However, I'll still be going up tomorrow just to top up. Nah, you just got you just get them delivered. <laughs> yeah, there's no slots available. Can I no. get them? This is the problem. Uh, no slots means no food. It means you just have to starve. <laughs> you have to go into the tin tuna. Anybody? If uh, we've got like fifty-seven people in, anybody? Anyway, they're talking about tin tuna. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button as well because it helps us show up in like all the searches it helps us get recommended to people who actually love watching tennis they'll be able to find this watch along as well uh yeah and leave us any comments in this uh live chat as well if you haven't already tell us what you think the final score is going to be do you think stan's going to come back tell us what do you reckon jg mm, I, don't know. <laughs> I really don't know I don't even know anything about tennis anymore, mate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Chris, <Mitt. laughs> give your address to send pizza. <laughs> uh, but then we'll have Pinto in the hedges outside again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sending my address to anyone. We'll end, we end up with a literal live watch along. <laughs> They'll be watching you. <laughs> Here we go. 30 love, Vavrenka. Although, uh, talking about pizza, it does make me hungry, mate. I could do with a pizza. I was lucky that, well... It was like ages since I last had dinner, mate. I wasn't expecting <laughs> it to go on for about eight hours. Did you last had dinner? How many dinners do you have? No, but like... You, I, I oh, look at that. Stand back and... Is that the elegant chunk that you were talking about? <laughs> hey, Stan's not out of it. Let's be let's be realistic here. He's three time Grand Slam champion. No, he just needs to stay. He needs to stay um, in this second set. He can't afford to get broken. Yeah, and we could have another game to love on our hands here. If only I'd have made a game to love button. That's what I should have been using my time. Should have been using it uh, constructively. But I yeah, wasn't. And a, a tippers thing as well. You could have done all these things. Yeah. Ben, I need you to remind me. And there we are, another game to love. Cheers. Through, I'm ben. Cheers. Clink. <laughs> <laughs> and the best comment of tonight goes to La. If only Rublev was in charge of counting the US votes. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been done ages ago. Yeah. Are they still going with that? With what? The US thing. Yeah, yeah, they're still counting them. It's but basically have- Biden. Biden's won. I yeah. heard that Trump's uh, disagreeing and he's going to uh, contest the Mate, result. He's crying still on Twitter about it. I heard he's got to leave the country. I don't know. I can't be. I can't be dealing with him. Right, let's let's not talk about that because I really don't, don't care care less about that. Uh, let's talk about this epic rally that's going on right now and Rublev starting to dictate forcing it out to Stan's backhand now he's into the forehand Stan, well, Stan can only get slices back right now now he's got big backhand oh, Stan. there he big is backhand. that's the one Ben that's the money shot yeah the ch- elegant chunk <laughs> this is what he's capable of look at that beautiful <laughs> gonna get a few t-shirts made of the elegant chunk i think <laughs> that's his, that's only his second point he's one of the match which has gone over nine nine rallies nine shots sorry <laughs> nine shot rally and like, how many sips of that beer you had <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's so late here. <laughs> it's not that late. Usually in bed. Yeah, sure. Come on, Stan. Here we go. What's he got? Oh, look at that from Rublev. Forces him out wide. And again. Oh, so good, isn't he? It behind him. That trick never gets old, does it? That's a little taste of your own medicine there, Stan. That's it. You've got them nice one-handed back ends, but I've got a nice solid two-handed one. Yeah, it was pretty solid. <laughs> twice, twice as nice. Oh, it's a very wide slice serve though. 
Yeah, and last time, do you think uh, Ribbo is playing too much tennis of late? I'm afraid he could be hitting the wall. Mate, you're never playing too much tennis if you keep winning. But well, you say I that. Beg, I do beg the question, like, it, when's he going to burn out? It's like, you, Bob, it's like you, you always allude to is when you win a tournament, they normally lose the next game after they won a tournament. Oh, how's Stan still in this rally? I don't know, but he's doing well. Oh, look at that winner. Oh, so good. You've got to clap it. That's the point of the match for me. The Stan did amazing to stay in it. There's not many players who would keep keep going, really. The way that but he... Uh, was pulling him around. And that final shot Rublev. was perfect. <laughs> Rublev was pulling him around. Yeah, it was very, very... That last shot was pretty, pretty epic. I don't know how he dug that out. Mate, I don't think he's missed. <laughs> it just seems that anything Stan throws at him... He can just hit it back with interest. Oh, oh great, sir. Uh, Stan is going to have to really hit the lines to win this match. That's it. That's it. Hey, what the is you doing? Wait, why is he complaining there? It's definitely sorry, it. Sorry, it was out. Stan thought it was out. Hey, it look, was it's, wet. it's inside the oh, line. It's wrong, wrong, wrong side of the line. I thought it was the other side we were looking at. Yeah, it was well in. <laughs> It was way in. And there we yeah. go. He holds. a free wow. turn. Here we go. Could this be our, our fastest ever live watch along? <laughs> well, it just depends on Stan. Which Does he want to make it the fastest ever live watch along? Or is he going to make a game of it and keep everybody here entertained for a whole evening? We've been waiting for this, Stan. Don't let us down. Give us a match. But, yeah, it's going to be super interesting to see if Rublev can just get him out of there, would you, when do you reckon he's going to try and turn it on? I think he's already oh, he's turned got it on. Bananas. How many bananas he's got? Six oh, bananas, man. is that? I, they both have that on each side, mate. They, they have got go six bananas during the match. Is that normal? normal? Potassium overload. Mate, usually I do bring a banana when I play tennis, but I'll like lash nibble on it for like six, the whole six. match. <laughs> six of them. No wonder they need <laughs> toilet breaks so often. <laughs> It's running right through him, that banana. <laughs> oh, dear. The kids are there saying, Rublev is becoming a monster on the tour. It's unreal. Oh, it is unreal. Hey, when he's playing like this, you just feel like, I don't know who can beat him. I'd, in fact, I would love to see a Rublev-Nadal uh, matchup. I'd quite like to see a rublev Kirill. In this form, though, I hate to say it for Nadal. I think Rublev will beat him. I'd like to see rublev Kyrgios. So I think that Rublev is the type of person that could really... I would like to see Kyrgios full stop. Yeah, I think Rublev... Is the type of tennis. Obviously, I'm sure he'll be back here for the Australian Open. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think he's the type of person who could really wind up Kyrgios. Uh, <laughs> and I think that Kyrgios has a very powerful game that could actually... He'd rise to a challenge. Well. Yeah, yeah, but I think he would... He, he sort of accepts a challenge a lot of the time against these players who think they can hit it harder than him. And he always wants to go one better than them. So I think it would be an entertaining Mate, match. I agree, actually. It's good analysis there, Ben. I think I always feel like he has a point to prove against these players who everyone looks up to and think like, oh, we love Rafa. He's like, yeah, yeah, you watch me. I'll take a set off Rafa. I can, I can beat anyone, mate, if I really want to. But then he just does one set and then he, I don't know, he gives up. He, do he doesn't do it consistently for a full match. You seen he can beat any like he's he's one of the lost souls of the tour, let's say the one that could be potentially the greatest. Yeah, has all the ability, but just the commitment is oh, just not there. there. And Chris Mears has said a name who I love, Inigo Cervantes. Uh, Cervantes, mate, love that. He's one of my favorite players. I know he's what is he number one thousand four hundred and ten in the world right now. No, he you can't. He must be higher than that now. I'm a big fan of Cervantes. He's saying that he lost to him in 2016 when he was that number. I think he's oh. coming coming back from injury though, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. a very uh, he's a very good player though. Yeah, bad injury. Very, ah, he's such a good player. I don't think he's ever got back to the same level that he was at before. He's 30 now, and uh, well, he was up to. Number 72, uh, he ended the year in 72nd place in 2015. But oh. yeah, he's been 
in and around, or he's 500 or something in the world at the moment. 538. Not great. <laughs> apparently, apparently, he beat Rublev though, didn't he, in 2016? Well, he's a very good player, but Rublev's 2016 compared to now is leaps and bounds. I don't think that's yeah, a tiny different player. player. Not even the same person. So, Vavrinka looking to hold just to get this into three games all. We could really do with uh, Stan holding here. Good serve. Oh, the lamb shank. I should have been making one of those buttons. <laughs> <laughs> we have our first lamb shank. That's a big, that's a huge hole. Uh, Real. <laughs> and we're approaching the business end. Not yet, but we're almost there. Nearly there. Oh, where's, where's Russia going? My Russian flag was disappearing again. What's happening? Yeah, so Rublev, can he maintain this high octane? Oh, serving. Yeah, he can. God, it's so powerful. And then he attacks the net, forces the error from Vavrinka. It's just a beast, man. Yeah, it's literally you look there, The average forehand top spin rate is 52 RPS for Rublev and 44 for Wawrinka. So yeah. generating a lot more spin on the forehand. Oh, it's a great deep shot there from Stan. Now the court's opened up for him. He can dictate, and there you go, wins the point. I think that's the key is getting becoming the dictator of the rally is so difficult against Rublev, and Stan hasn't been able to this whole match. Rublev, as soon as he hits one hard shot, you're on the back foot for the rest of the rally. Laura asking, how was the sphere of Manorino game? Two hours, 54. It was a combination of Manorino playing excellent and Sverev being Sverev. <laughs> yeah, it was. He to get it done. He oh, it. a winner from Stan! Gosh, that was a good shot. Is this now the time for Stan to break? Because don't forget, if he breaks here... Yeah, it's the tide turning a little bit. We could. He could be serving to... Well, edge closer to this set, really. He just needs to get to that magic five. Well, magic six. He's going to have a second serve as well. Well, here we go. He's licking his lips right now. So over to that backhand side, and he's fired it deep. Great, great length on that. He's keeping it into the Rublev backhand side. He's gone down the line. Great shot, Stan. Rublev sliced back in play. Oh, and still, and it's wide. Oh, Ooh. Got two great points. Here we go. Stan's back, mate. Stan Vavrinka. Here we go. He's only had one break point so far, but he's going to have two here. Oh, he's got a second serve to look at. Here we go. The Stanimal. Oh, he's gone to his forehand. Great shot. What a winner. Stan Ravrinka. Mate, wow. brilliant. We're going to see a match of it. And like we predicted, Ben, we both said it. We knew Stan was going to be slow to start off with. We knew Rublev would be on fire. But Ravrenka is finding his feet in this match. And he's now up a break in the second set, leading 4-3. Diesel. However, this, this, this service game's huge. This will make make or break it uh, for him right now. He can't afford to, to lose his service and bring it back to 4 all. Can you not hear his engine? It's just purring, mate. Now, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> He's just sat there, mate. He's just raring to go. He, he wants to get up and back on court again now just to serve and consolidate. He knows I want. He, he wants me to push that button. He wants me to remember to push the button more than anything. Lara asking, have we covered doubles tennis in the past? We've never done a live watch long for it, but we do talk about it on the podcast. Yeah. Speaking about uh, Bear and his uh, racket outburst earlier today in the doubles. Mate, one of my favourites is probably... Um, oh, Rublev. A little bit of racket abuse there in the changeover. Yeah, mate, he's not happy. Who's the, the pair we liked? Is it Savile and... Um... Oh, yeah, Savile and Purcell, was it? Purcell. Was it Purcell? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, oh, the Aussies. The ones who look identical and you can't yeah, tell yeah. them apart. And they wear the same hat as well. 
<laughs> same blonde hair, same hat, same hairstyle. So where's all the stand fans? Are they coming up the paintwork yet? We've got Mary saying, I told you, an epic comeback is incoming. <laughs> there you go. Diesel. Chris Beer saying, this match is getting really interesting now. It's not a break unless you consolidate. And then Michael's here with a phenomenal. Oh, and it's long. Stan wasted that. Sh he went over the top there trying to finish that point. He didn't need to be that aggressive. Chris Meir reckons if he holds, it's 50-50. If is a big word you're using there, Chris. What, 50-50 then wins that set or 50-50 wins the match? Set, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> Getting all this know. stuff coming up. Is Pochettino gone to Manchester United? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It keeps popping up on the computer. Here we go. Stan, 15 all. Oh, now the serves are getting nervy. Now he's got the break. He's not serving as well. Here we go. Into the backhand side. Great backhand. That backhand's warmed up now from Stan, but it's Ooh, wide. He's dragged it. What was he doing there? That's not the stand backhand we know and love. And we've just well, coming. It's a little window here of opportunity for 59 minutes played. Yeah, just coming up to the hour mark. And Jax is officially in hiding. <laughs> Jax is in hiding. Great serve from Stan. Oh, and they're playing it pretty sensual. He's opened the court up there. Stan hanging behind the baseline right now. And it's into the oh. net. And it's two great points. That's the thing. I feel like as when the, when the rally gets going, I just always favour Rublev. Well, as soon as he hits one well, of Rinka those... needs he needs the quick point. He needs to go attacking. He can't afford to just try and rally with Rublev because he's going to pick out these angles and overpower him. I feel it's like moving. he needs to be brave here with Renko. Needs a big serve. It's a good serve, that one. Oh, I thought he's dug out a weird return. It looked there. like it, yeah. Doesn't it? Like, like scooped it up like that. It's like it'd be he was a good a, shot, mate, if it just if it nicked the top of the net. Had his bucket and spade out there digging that one out. <laughs> so here we go. Second break point, Rublev. Can Stan pull out a big serve to stop this going 4 4? Oh, a great serve. Oh, it looked out to me. Just shows what my eyes are doing. So when would you class the business end then? Would you class this as business end? Or would you class it after one more game? This is not quite the business end for me. Eight games? I think eight games is always mm, around the business end. Yeah. I think. But you never know because when it's Rublev, Stan, for the, him, this is business end. Like, he needs this game. Yeah. Desperately. I think if he, if he takes this, we're definitely within the thick of the bit. And it's why oh, he's dragged it wide. And we're there's an advantage. Gonna, oh, is he going to get the consolidation? My finger's on the button this time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's done well there to get out of them two break points. Great serve. And there you go. <laughs> and I think we can say... This is definitely the business end. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't hold it in, could you, any longer? No, I couldn't. I needed this isn't even the business end, I don't think. Oh, it's 5-3, come on. I think if Rublev holds here, that would be the business end for me. Oh, I'll press it again after that as well. <laughs> 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 He's getting a bit button happy over there. I know. Didn't even give me a chance to use it in the first set, Stan. <laughs> problem. He's loving it. <clears throat> That's yeah, pretty good, though, mate. Did you create that yourself? Yeah, mate. I had a briefcase at home, filmed it quickly, turned it black and white. Then did a little bit of Photoshop uh, magic with some uh, text to come up on it. So not bad, eh, for a 
five minutes. Hey, it was pretty, pretty uh, professional. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, just before this kicked off, I was just like, I gotta do something for it. it jumped in Logic, whacked a little tune on. Mate, you'd hate to see me doing it. I'd be in. I'd be in all sorts of bother. Us creatives, mate. Don't worry about it. It's another, another day in the office. Mate, if I'm not creative, what am I though? I don't really have a skill. <laughs> Guy, uh, of course you do, mate. Oh, it's long. 30, 15. On the guns. Here we go. So 30, 15. And we'll have Rinka be looking to break here just to try and get this set out of the way so he can serve in the first, oh, serve first in the next set and the final set. Long serve. And this serves suddenly going a little bit off kilter now. Here we go. Oh, look, he predicted that. Oh, wild, Stan. He predicted Mate, I like that. That's what I like about these experienced players. They take a gamble. They take a risk. They do different things. Move him yeah. before he's taking the shot. That's clever. I like that. The serve, yeah. sorry. Sometimes it works really badly. Well, that was a, somehow. Oh, look at that, though. Oh, what was that? Yeah. And now, I believe, Ben, we are in the business <laughs> end. Can... Rublev, no, can Stan Wawrinka serve this out? Okay. <laughs> uh, God, God, I love it, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, might, I might improve that to make it a little bit better at some and point. here we are, now. Rublev here with another banana. Yeah. Need to get a lamb shank button. Wait until I get the next Tesco's delivery. Might order some lamb shanks. <laughs> then we can have one of those. What are you going to do? Just throw it around your room? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, interesting stuff. 5 4. We got Stan Vavrinka serving for the second set. His serve's been pretty good so far. As you can see from the statistics, nine aces so far from Stan Vavrinka. Uh, pretty impressive. Obviously, Rublev's stats are more Not impressive. Bad first serve percentage as well, 70%. Yep. And then he's going to need those, and he doesn't want any more of these double faults creeping in again. So, But we know how difficult it is when you get into that number of magic number five, trying to serve it out. He's only got one attempt at it as well, so it's not going to be easy for him. Hey, looking at the total points, he's actually relatively close. Obviously, Rublev's one more. Yeah, uh, fifty six to forty eight. Yeah, not that, not much in it really. Considering not... he won the first set six one. Exactly. Here we go. So Stan Wawrinka serving for the second set. Let's holds the ball up. Make sure Rublev's ready. Here we go. Great serve out wide. It's into court. Oh, great. Oh, it was out, though. Mr. Rublev's javelin in the goal on the... Was it out? I don't think it was out. I, well, it might have hit the line, but I'm not really uh, as close as them. This is the wrong call. It's got to be. Oh, they're saying that one's out. Oh, no, this one. That one. Yeah, it was. Ooh. Yeah. Good for Stan, though. Here we go. Stan, good Three serve. Points away. Oh, two points away. Hmm. Surjan. Yay, Surjan, how are we doing? Good Ask to see question. you. I'm level with you in the league, mate. <laughs> oh. oh, it's wide from Stan, and that's wild again. Not wild, but sort of careless. Had an open court there. Couldn't direct it in. Oh, great serve. And there we 40, go. 15. Two set points. Two set points. Stan Vavlinka. And to be fair, this match is going pretty quick. We've just played over an hour and we're on the verge of having a third set. Yeah, for sure. Exciting stuff. It's a good serve. The return. 
And Rublev guesses wrong. And there you go. One set all. Well. Yeah. And I hate to say I told you so, Ben. You were one the video. I said we're going to be seeing three sets. It wasn't looking too confident after the first one. And I, I also one... said Rublev's going to take the third 6-2. So... I didn't even say. I just said that I thought Stan will get going. Hey, you never do. You never put your neck on the line. You're too scared to I be wrong. I put my neck on the line. I, I said <laughs> Stan will start slow and then he'll get going in the second. Was that not correct? Yes, it was correct. I didn't give a prediction on who I think was going to win the match, but I still got that right. So we have a look at some of the stats from the second set that they're feeding us here. Uh, what, what stands out for you there? What's that, sorry? Uh, winners, total winners, nine to Stan, eight to uh, Rublev. Unforced errors, nine apiece. So pretty even set, really. Yeah. But I think the rallies under five shots there, uh, Stan getting 23 to Rublev's 18. One thing I've noticed is the distance run now. Rublev yeah. has run a lot more than uh, Stan Wawrinka, which is the polar opposite to the first set. Yep. And I always think, this, I know it's very basic and old school. My dad used to tell me when we was playing tennis, but if you make the opponent run a lot more than you, yourself, it always gives you the best chance. Yeah. especially me, that's he, like the fundamentals of tennis. Especially when he's tired as well and he's just played a whole week of tennis. Emma there saying, Stanimore is ready to rumble. Yeah, he definitely is. Serjan, I'm not from Russia. I swear you've asked that before. <laughs> I don't, do He's I joking, like... Ben. He's only joking. <laughs> he always loves this flag. That's why. Just like JG, a true Swiss. He walks around carrying his Swiss army knife. <laughs> can help everybody out then. His box of Swiss chocolates. Has a Swiss roll. Swiss chocolates? Is that a thing? I thought it was Swiss... Belgian chocolates. Swiss... No, I said... no, I have Swiss chocolates as well. No, Swiss, Swiss chocolates is not a thing. What's the uh, lint one? I'll have to Google it, mate. Because if you're wrong, <laughs> if you're right, then I'll apologise. I thought it was. I thought lint was Swiss, but I might be wrong. Um, how can I find out? Just Google it. Do, Just type do, lint. Do, 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 do. Lint chocolate origin, Switzerland. There you go. I just did it. That's how quick it is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> how slow are you on the computer? <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. Look, back to you, mate. Backing me up there. Yeah, Everyone it. saying Swiss chocolate, yeah? I always Thank thought Belgian chocolate Thank was you. good. Swiss cheese as well was very popular. Yeah. We got, we got called uh, Swiss cheese lovers, didn't we, once or something? In one of the I, comments. I, I, no, it doesn't surprise me. You get called uh, Fed Tards as well. <laughs> Another great thing. You said something about Federal once and they just called us like Swiss cheese lovers. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind a bit of Swiss cheese, mate. I'll happily have that. Yeah, everyone's confirming both Swiss and Belgium chocolate. So I guess we're both for it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Belgian chocolate is, yeah. The very question funny. is, what's better? What do you prefer, Ben? Belgium chocolate or Swiss chocolate? I think I'm more of a Belgian chocolate guy myself. The funny thing is, I'm probably more of a Swiss because I love I love lint chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> so I've been taking each other's. Yeah, the Belgian chocolate. I don't know why. It just has uh, something a bit different about it. Just a little bit more rich, I think. Yeah, I've heard of a good um, Swiss company actually, Ben. I don't know if you know who they are Richmond. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> Oh, great serve from Rublev. Is he going to be all oh, warmed up? Hyped up? He's love 15. Big Stan. Here is he going to threaten early in this final set? As we... Got a few people betting on Stan here <laughs> saying, do you see... Oh, the lob. <laughs> do you see Wawrinka yeah. really winning this? If so, I must cash out. Help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. I love it. That's that's uh, I I mean he could win it. I think Stan. I think he has... could as well. Yeah, he could cause a bit of an upset here. He uh, he definitely could. And as we just literally just go past midnight in Paris now, whilst they're playing, pretty crazy. Yeah, and it's fifteen thirty here right now, and we've yeah. got Jagger joining us. How are we doing, Jagger? Obviously, Alex Ferrer's biggest fan. 
And he's saying, it doesn't matter who's <laughs> going to win because Sasha's going to beat him. I could have predicted what he was going to say before yeah, I even looked. Here we go again. But I can't criticise him. His man's been on a 10 winning streak. Yeah. And right. Excellent stuff. But so is Rublev. And uh, is that going to come to the end today? May well do. We'll have to wait until uh, Zverev. Here we go. Two break points. Wow. And Stan really turning up the heat, cranking it up a notch now. And uh, on the subject of chocolate again, Surgeon asked, have you ever tried Serbian chocolate? <laughs> no, I haven't. You should if you haven't. No, I've never had. Uh, sounds good. You see, hey, I, I reckon... Any chocolate. I'm I reckon quite easy. That, yeah, I, put, <laughs> I reckon that the heat's been turned up a lot because Stan's changed his top. He's now got that hot red top on, just signalling that he's going to be going for it more in this. Red, it's pink. Are you colourblind as well? Come on, I'm just, I'm trying not to say it's pink. I've been seeing Rafa's one. That's pink. Oh, and he breaks. Wow. Well, there you go. If you're thinking about cashing out, cash out now. <laughs> no, it's too late now. It would have dropped massively. So no, he was now you stand. Hmm? He was back in stand. Oh, he's back in... Nah, no, just stands going to win it now, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> too good opportunity now. Oh, hopefully yeah, probably. End. I really want to see your button one, one last time. It probably is going to be... Uh... I probably would be wise to cash it because if he gets broken back straight away, then you're just going to rue that day that that cash out was so high. But here you go. Stan's going to try and consolidate because we know it's not really a break, is it? It was a break, but it's not really a break until he consolidates. So let's see if he can. Not really a break, is it? Here we go. Well, oh, Rublev, Lam Shank, and would have been coming out there. Ben, and it's a bit like what we saw at the beginning. Rublev looks fatigued. He's tired out there. Yeah, and is it more possum? Is he playing possum once more? I think it's a bit late to be doing that. <laughs> exactly. I think if he holds here, he's going to have a real chance of um, winning the match. Mary saying, it's the shirt. It's the shirt. It is the shirt. See, it's helping him. He's very tightly fitted around his midriff, I have to say. Is the audience just holding their head like they've just seen a ghost? <laughs> Weird. Maybe they have. <laughs> Here we go. Stan, second serve. Oh, good second serve. Oh, he could have done more with that backhand, and it's wide oh, still. He it, though. 30 love. Stan's Ooh. on fire right now. God, he's loving this right now, isn't he? Big, big man stand. Too early to call uh, a stand bagel. Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> Rublev, give him some respect. You can't be calling a bagel on Rublev in the form. Yeah, Melez, they're calling for the, for the for the Vienna song from Ben. How long until we get your song, Ben? <laughs> need a rendition of something. Why would you need a rendition of oh, something? Oh, trying to lift Rublev a bit. He's struggling right now. Ah, oh, mate, we need a stand song from you, I think. Oh, he's challenging the call. Was it in? I reckon you could do like a song for Stan, but do it to the Eminem song, Criminal, but instead of Criminal, Stanimal. I think that would work. So <laughs> try and work on that. Singing. I am not singing, okay? I'm a man because... of many talents, but singing's not one. Because he's a Stanimal. <laughs> there you go 3 15 come on come on Stan just hold here come on Stan you can do it you can do it mate come on there we go 30 15 big point this one yeah it certainly is good serve into the body he's using that body, body serve a lot but into the uh, net there Good enough. Oh, 30 all. He's throwing this away because Rublev's not playing very well. He can't afford to be making mistakes like that. He should be finishing these points off rather than hitting them in the net. Yeah, he served um, well as well, and that's just threw it away. Here we go. If any time he needs an ace, it's now. Here we go. 30 all. 
He's just serving them all like right to the body down the middle. <laughs> Get him, Mellors. Get him, Ruby. Oh, it's a great shot from Stan. He attacks the net. Great volley from Stan. Oh, so good. That How's your good. hand? That was. I'd love to be able to do that shot. That was exquisite. The way he took the weight off that ball and just dropped it. That was perfect placement. Mate, that is such a difficult shot to play. And he looks like a man full of confidence right now. You've got to be honest. We'll see. Oh, I wish he could get his first serve in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit... Uh, so he's got a second serve to look at, Rublev. Can he stop Stan consolidating? Oh, it's a great serve, but he cannot. And Stan Wawrinka. Oh, got you upset Rublev fans here. Fernando Ramos, please, Rublev. Yeah, I know. Is is this a sign? He's well, saying it's pure luck. Not sure about that. And you're seeing him actually breathing heavy, giving some big sighs at the back of the court. Is this finally taking its toll on him? All of this, all of this play. Great return there from Stan, but yeah, no point running for that. <laughs> I never <laughs> understand why they do that. There's just no need. Just push it. Let's go. Through. Just literally just tap it over. Why are you going to exert all that energy just to finish off a point? What's one? I think that with a lot of the smashes that some of these people do, just they're, they're, there's an open court. Why are you bothering? Why do you need to smash it? Just hit it over. I guess it's just for momentum and stuff. You want to keep your and plus it feels much better it, when you go and smash it away. Oh, another double fault though. Oh, this He's is really tired, isn't it? You don't ever see him double fault so often as this. This is it's all trickling away slowly, slowly. I've hey, got a little song here for La from La. Super, super wap, super, super, <laughs> super, super wap, super wap, super wap, super wap, super wap, Yeah, you need the start. Was, there, yeah, yeah, come on. And we've got Adrian from Argentina. Hola, soy de Argentina. Eh, buenos tardes. Hola, amigos. Buenos, buenos noches. <laughs> and obviously we had Rafa on the down. El Peque. El Peque. Is he going to win tomorrow? And obviously we had Nadal winning his uh, th uh, 1,000 and what? First match today. That was crazy. It was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, was that an ace? Uh, oh, it was. Oh, it's challenging. Was. That's it's an ace. Challenging. That's one of them. He's he's hoping it's wide, but we'll see. Look, get to see the umpires' uh, challenge thing. That's quite cool. Oh, it's in. Yeah, yeah. Good. Forty thirty. Rublev was just praying that that was called in. Really needs a hold right now. Yeah, a double break would have finished him off. That's a great ace, and what a response from Andre Rublev. Yeah, I think if Rublev came up against someone like Schwartzman right now, that'd be his worst nightmare. Someone who gets everything back and literally has legs and gas tank for days. I think that would be literally his worst nightmare. Well, anyway, guys, let's update you for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to be doing plenty of live watch alongs. Obviously, the big one is going to be Diego Schwartzman versus Medvedev at one o'clock. Be there to join us for that one. And I think we're probably going to skip the round itch on by one and then we'll do Nadal, Coreno Buster at 5.30. And then hopefully, may even do Rublev Zverev later on. But we'll see how we're feeling. Oh, uh, good matches tomorrow. Yeah, mate. I'm looking forward to it. We've got some absolutely epic matches that are going on tomorrow as well. Don't yeah, and I think there's a lot of new people commenting as well, which is brilliant. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join us. Um, you can hit the bell for any of uh, notifications to know when we go live. We'll be doing loads of podcasts tomorrow. And we'll be doing them daily, to be fair. Now we're in lockdown in the UK. We've got a lot of time. So we're going to bring as many tennis podcasts and live watch-alongs as possible. And so hopefully not, as many of you can join us for them. Yeah, and don't forget, 
always got to hit that like button down there. Where is it? Down there somewhere. There, there, there. So just remember, always hit the like button if you're watching the watch along. Uh, it just helps us out and helps us get found by everybody who loves tennis. And they can uh, join the watch alongs too because we're just building the community bit by bit. Um, we love having as many people in as possible, throwing all these questions at us. And if you want to get involved with any predictions... Mm. Obviously, we, you hear us talking about what, who we think is going to win. If you want to get involved, there's a free league you can join, the DTL League. Uh, you can give your predictions for all the upcoming tennis tournaments. Unfortunately, yep. it's closed now for Paris, but we've got Sofia coming up, then London. So just click on that link. I've put it in the chat now. You have to make an account. It's entirely free. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. You can see where you rank compared to us with how much you know about tennis. Yeah, we'll be going through the results uh, of the league after this match finishes, just to have a quick look, see who's top in the leaderboard. Oh, what a backhand that is. Oh, it's come little, there, picked it up. Oh, yeah, good enough, uh, Great play by Rublev there. That's what you want to see. That's what he needs to do right now. Here we go. Paolo's asking for the stream. Unfortunately, we can't show the live match, but you can find it on multiple different places. Just not here. Tennis TV, Amazon, gambling sites. There you go. There's three options. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she dug that out. Oh, and here we go. Stan's doing really well to make Rublev play another shot. That's what I've noticed through this match. So many times Rublev's hit a shot, you think, oh, there's no way he's getting it. Ravrenka's managed to get there, and then Rublev's made an error. Yeah, yeah. For sure. If you keep making him play these extra shots, we know how tired he is. He's going to make mistakes. That's all Stan needs to do, in my opinion. Oh, it's a great serve from Stan there, though. So, 40-15, Vavrinka, and he's looking just to stay that one step ahead of Andrei Rublev in this third set because, well, if he slips up one one second, you know, Rublev's just going to get a sniff and he'll suddenly get his confidence back. And even though he's not playing that great and he's looking a little bit tired, that adrenaline burst could see him through to the end of the match if he gets it again. Because he's not playing badly. Just Stan Wawrinka upped his level. But, yeah, you see the... Ooh, you know. And Stan holds 3-1. Yes, yeah, very good hold. And uh, that's more uh, from Rublev. The shots are getting a bit more wild now. And the power... I think he needs to take a little bit off of his shots now and maybe just try and just keep them in and just... It's just going to be difficult because he wants to shorten the rallies because he knows that he's getting more tired. But... If he hit goes for power, he doesn't have the accuracy anymore. Yeah. So, real catch twenty two situation for Andre Rublev right now. Just trying to find a line. <laughs> oh, that's a good serve. Oh, and he's challenging. I think it might have clipped the line. Wow! Well. Right by his feet, he couldn't get out of the way of that return from Vavrinka. Oh, no, I think it's wide. Yeah, it's clearly so far wide. Done. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, he didn't, he's like, you didn't see that? That was like this far wide. He's, like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's tough for me on, on that side of the court. <laughs> it's the far side of the court. I can sort of understand. Oh, he's opened the court up. Rublev should have finished that. Stan somehow has got it back. He's got Stan running everywhere. Whoa, what a win. Oh, what a shot. Wow. That was that, that incredible. Was incredible. What a shot that is. That is incredible. That The way he got around the court there was like a youngster. Don't know how he was managing that. And this is, this is the real Stan Wawrinka playing right now. That first set Stan Wawrinka's gone, luckily. And this is, and this is the type of thing... If Rublev meets somebody like a informed Stan Wawrinka in a Grand Slam, 
Is this what's going to happen? Ah, he's missed that one, huh? Yeah. But Rublev's not out of it. We can't rule him out of it. It's only one break, isn't it? It's That's only it. one break. It only takes a crazy game where Stan Wawrinka's backhand starts flying off into the stands or doing something. He is, he's warmed up now, so he's not going to do that so much. Not as much. In theory, we're not going to see the errors. He has the ability to still do it, though. That's the thing with Stan. He can still have an off game where it suddenly just goes awry, that, that forehand. So, 3-2. Interesting, isn't it? So, yeah. at least he's st sticking in there. He's sticking in there. He's staying in there. What does everyone in the comments think? Do you think Stan's going to go on, hold his serve, win the match? Or do you think Rublev's just got one last fight in him? Can he edge this back, push it all the way to, say, a tie break? We see a tie break final set. Or maybe Rublev can just win the next well, four games. Can he just do that? I kind of agree with uh, Call Me Touch, actually. I think if Rublev breaks back, I think it's curtains for Stan. I think Rublev will win the match. Uh, so the main thing is Stan needs to keep this one break. He can't be pegged back. I don't know. I think it's even Steven if they if he breaks yeah, back. Rublev, I think... mate, momentum is going to be just going to be so dangerous. Mm, I think it's going to be super even, if I'm honest. I think that if he breaks back, I think we're just going to be holding serve till tie break. That's where I see it going. I think that they're both. It stands playing well enough to hold his serve right now, and I think if Rublev just breaks back, I think it's just going to be even. But wait and see. Obviously, Stan, he's coming out now. <laughs> if he <laughs> doesn't hold his serve now, I'm going to look a bit stupid. But he's been doing all right so far. And been looking pretty pretty good over the past uh, set and a half on his serve. First set, feel forgiven for that. 4-2 is going to be huge, though. Needs to hold her. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh. Long gives him a second serve to look at. Aaron Decker's reckons, oh, a break from Rublev. Oh, he's done it. Good shot. Yeah. And uh, it's fair to say, Jax has gone completely underground. Not seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this what happens when Rublev's losing in a match? Not come out to fight his cause just to help him, like get behind your guy. Come on. I think the Stan song was pending, Ben. Oh, After this display, that's another ace. 30 love. Because he's a Stanimal. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Scott saying, when Rublev loses his call, he usually don't find it back. It's not looking good. But like you, you say, the pink t-shirt has done him the world of good. It has. Unfortunately, it's not like a red rag to a ball. Because Rublev has definitely not been the ball in this... Uh... Brace? Gosh, he's flying for it. I know. In the first set, he was bullying... The thing is, it's uh, all good at world serving like this now. Try serving like this when you're serving for the match. It's a complete different... Um... Yeah, when you get to the magic oh. five, there you go, is another ace. And like I said... Three back-to-back -back aces. That's a game to love. Cheers, Ben. Cheers. Ching. Let's have a look at those uh, ace... That game was aces. one minute, 20 seconds. That's 12 aces from Stan now. That's three, three apiece in this uh, set, but two double faults from uh, Rublev. But yeah, they're serving. They get, well, yeah, Rublev's serving already. There we go. Rublev wants to get into the lock. Oh, look at that. Was that a second, was that a second serve ace? I think he hit let. It was a let first. Oh, it was a let. Great serve, though. Real, uh, slight side spin on that, yeah. So, let us know, guys, what do you think is going to happen? Is Stan going to close it out wow. from here, or is Rublev going to come back? Well, he needs to get to that magic five until you get to that magic five. It's just not quite the same, is it? He's on four at the moment. Is, is Rublev going to allow him to get to the magic five? Stan means business end, Mella said. Oh, that was close. There we go. Pretty powerful forehand to backhand. Oh, he keeps digging them out, though. Yeah. Nah, not he could really? do that. That's too much. 
Really, really. You see what I mean, though? He's always making Rublev play that extra shot, and he's been missing a lot of them. Uh, I think that one was just a bit too much. Yeah, for sure. Oh, great serve. And like that, a game to love again. I should have definitely made a game to love button rather than a business end. I think we're going to have much more of them. (laughs) Although we're approaching one now, I believe. What, a business end? If Stan can hold here, I feel like we're in one. We are because we're at the magic five. I wanted a magic five button, but otherwise we're just going to be pressing buttons left, right and centre. There could be a break of serve. (laughs) None of us, mate, just buttons. (laughs) <laughs> imagine there's a break of serve and then it goes to five and it's the business end as well so you'd have to just press three buttons in a row <laughs> can't be having that <laughs> you just get messy last saying a good stat there Rublev has not lost a match after winning the first set in 2020 wow just shows how dominant he's been this year it's a brilliant That's achievement it. if Stan's able to do this and win this match and Aaron's saying game eight is very important for Rublev. And that I is, I think game eight is the business end. Definitely, Melez. Game eight, the business end. Once that, once we've got that eighth game out of the way, then you know you're in a fight. That's when all the nerves start creeping in. Oh, and uh, Sixta Maria Popu Amu is saying. And Zverev wins the tournament. Wow, that's a big call there. I mean, he's been playing very well. He had a week's rest. He didn't look amazing against Manorino, but could that just be Manorino playing really well? Uh, Manorino I didn't. Stan with rank. I think Stan's going to beat with rank, um, Zverev. If he goes through, obviously. See, Stan's proven. He's See, gonna live up, is he going to live up to the facts of what he was saying the other day? Stan's got a history of beating big players in tournaments back to back as well. Oh, he let that one just settle. Now they're going back hand to four and down the line. Oh, Stan slipped over and now he's back up. Oh, oh. somehow he managed to nearly come back in that he's rally. Done that twice. I'm not sure what is wrong with his trainers. Yeah, he's got those Dominic team trainers on. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Uh, he didn't even st- step on the floor. That's why he's sort of like the side. It was quite of a clean team. fall, that one, though. Just put him off his rhythm, though. I wasn't yeah. able to get the ball back. The thing that I've noticed in tennis, this has happened a lot. When someone takes a tumble, it usually shakes them up. And you yeah. see some shaky points afterwards. Let's see if Wawrinka, if that phases him. <laughs> I was going to say, if he won that point, that would have been like the definition of the elegant chunk. They bounced back up off the floor with his chunkiness, and yeah, and then would have gone on to win it, but we didn't see that. Oh, he's not hitting the winners here. He's being forced back to the baseline yeah, by Rublev. 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 This is it. Rublev's going for it now. He's into the net. Oh, he couldn't handle it. Stand. Oh, he couldn't handle the, the power. Yeah. That's huge moment. 15 all. We've got 62 people in. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. If you haven't liked the video yet, hit the like button. Helps us out. Helps the channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, 15 all, though. Rublev looking to signal his intent here in this, uh, well, it's the eighth game. Oh, Stan got caught out there with that return. 15-30. Under pressure here. Yeah, it's very, very, very worrying times now. We've just seen two very fast uh, service games. And this one, I've got a feeling, could be a bit of a longer one. Well, exactly. And like you you were just alluding to the fact that if you fall over in a rally, it sometimes... Mate, I've seen it so many times. You fall over, then you just notice that, I don't know, things change a little bit. Uh, and a little bit. But you saw he served th- three aces in the last service game. This service game, he hasn't getting the first serve in. Oh, and Rublev's well and truly in this rally right now. Great shot out to the backhand side. Rublev, great deep slice. Whoa, what a shot from oh, Stan. What a shot. Incredible, mate. Under pressure as well. Oh. Pull that out. Shot of the match. out of this world. Yeah, that really is. Well, that so was incredible. So deep. Look at that. And he ran round. The fact he just ran all the way past that uh, backhand, ran Dude, all the way around. That was That's incredible. one of them. You need to be in the stadium as well, really, to sort of admire it. Winner speed there, 156 kilometers an hour. 
Yeah, it's amazing. And look at that. And then a great serve behind it. Look at that. Two <laughs> great points from Stan. Yeah. Two break points. You mean <laughs> a game point? <laughs> a two, yeah, two. He turned it from, he, he prevented two break points, I was going to say, from the last one. And now he's on game point. So I'm getting confused. It's getting late, mate. <laughs> well, Aaron said he likes the stream. So thanks for that, mate. Hopefully you all liked it. Look at that. And Stam holds 5 3. He's only one game away from taking the match and a place in the quarterfinals against Alex Zverev, the informed man. Yeah, I mean, as, as we know, we're in the business end here. This is it. Eight games in, business end. This is where you make your money as a tennis player. That's definitely for sure. This is where the mental side of the game comes in. And can they handle it? Can Stan's been there before. He's been there. He's done it. He's got the T-shirt. He's got 100 T-shirts. What's Rublev got? A lot of trophies, mate, this year. This year, yeah. But how many is his Grand Slam? It's getting full up. <laughs> it's getting full up. Oh, look at this great rally in right now. Wants it over now. Oh, it's incredible and rally. Players have up the level massively. But Wawrinka comes out on top. 15 love. And Mary Sky there saying, I'm rooting for Stan only because I picked him in my bracket. <laughs> <laughs> that's not really like that. Actually, I forgot about that. I've got Rublev in mine, so that's not looking too good. I've got Stan in mine. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Love 30 with Renka two points away. This is it oh, from match point, point now. How quickly business end turns into the end. <laughs> oh, and it's you've missed the first serve, and you can see the frustration. And this is what I said in my bracket because I thought Rublev and Vavrinka would come through, and I thought Rublev would get tired in this round and Stan seasoned. But it's not over yet. 15.30. We did that. Unforced error as well. It wasn't even under too much pressure. Here we go. 15.30. He really has to work hard. Here. Stan, you can see that he's rediscovered his youth or something. Great ace from Andre Rublev there, though. What a time. Wow, what a time to just... Look at him, he's the way he's breathing as well. He's just, he knows this is all or nothing. This is literally, he's running... He's, like, he's throwing the kitchen sink now at, at Stan. This is, he's running off fumes. This is, there's no, there's no gas left in the tank. It's literally just fumes. Look at the way he's it though. So much anger. Oh, what a winner from Stan oh, to tap a match so point. Good. So good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mate, the Stan fans are going mad at that. Oh, that was ridiculous, mate. That is orgasmic, as someone said. And quote exactly. Earlier. Let's roll back to that comment because that one is the definition. Great serve. G good return from Stan. What's he, he going to go for it? It's into the net and Stan Vavrinka has won it. And it's a break as well. And Mate. wow, look at uh, that. What Stan happened? Rinka has beaten Andre Rublev. No one saw it coming. The bookies had Rublev at only 1.2. Uh, Stan come through and managed to beat him in an extremely yeah. impressive fashion, especially after losing the first set 6-1. We was questioning, is he down and out? But as we know, the diesel engine was just getting started. Exactly, and that elegance of uh, Stan Vavrinka as he cruised around the court and suddenly everything started coming into place for him. He started gliding. He fell over twice, but that didn't matter. He was, he was bruised, but he wasn't out. And he just kept on coming back and he kept coming stronger, stronger, stronger until the end. And what a great finish. Incredible. Stan Vavrinka. Three-time Grand Slam champion. Hey, it was worth the wait in the end, wasn't it? It was a good match. Yeah. It got better as it gone on. And uh, Stan now is just currently signing the camera. Yeah. Mate, it's funny when they do that. Don't. But don't. No, fair play to him. He was really good today. And um, 
like I said, I've said it during the stream, I think he could beat Sverev next. Well, he definitely has a very, very uh, good chance in this tournament now. And, uh, well, Zverev had a very long match. Vavrinka, still quite a long match, but you'd fancy him. If you can beat Rublev, surely you can beat Zverev. If Zverev doesn't have his best game. Yeah, obviously, Vavrinka's just done it again, though. He's come back from a set down. He came back from a set down against uh, Tommy yeah. Paul, a set down against Andre Rublev. And now, surely his confidence is going to be surging. He's going to be thinking, I can beat these guys be anybody this is the man on tour right now Andre Rublev I've just taken him out in style and uh yeah his all the things he said that he's going to be he's going for tournaments now he just wants to win as much as possible before he retires why yeah, not this Ken, Ken there saying he can't super chat from his region we've noticed a few people having that issue if you would like to support the channel in any way shape or form there's a link in the description I know someone did during the podcast so thank you for that um there was a caption of Amos Rafa, so I was definitely a Rafa fan. If you right. want to see the channel, obviously these things can be quite expensive to get sorted out. Uh, we really appreciate it. Don't feel obliged. It's honestly up to you. Yeah, uh, yeah, for anyway, sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for everything today. Really enjoyed your company. It's been a good match. Stan's in the next round. And we've got have... a lot of live watch-alongs for tomorrow as well. Do you want to have a quick look at the bracket just to see how everyone got on? Is yeah, you can do briefly. Yeah, just to see if there's anybody who hasn't joined the uh, the league that we have running, then uh, you can join the league. Uh, but it's open to everybody. It's free to join. And uh, I mainly just want to have a look because I think I had Stan Vavrinka going through to the next round. <laughs> so that's what I want to want to go through and uh, have a quick look. So, well, yeah, we've got. Uh, I'm not sure if this is updated. That is, bit, yeah. is that updated? But yeah. Yeah. We've still only got 56 members, the same as at the beginning. Okay. Oh, I'm up to seventh, so I must something must have gone my way. So if we go down and have a little look down here, where's Stan? Yeah, there he is. Stan Vavrinka. And he's up against Zverev, so I got both of those right. And I had Zverev going through, though, against Stan, so... I think it's in up in the air, mate. I think, to be honest, I agree with Melez. The bracket's not necessary. We don't care. I'm not doing very well at it anymore, so I'm not interested. Let's, let's just take it. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, I'm not doing very well. You're, a, you're ahead of me. What are you talking about? Not anymore. Are you not? Have you gone down? Where is he? Oh, he's down to 13th now. It's nice to be above you there. Oh, it's dizzy. I'm feeling a little bit cold, actually. I might have to put another jumper on. It's getting snowy up here. Uh, but Lithuania HQ is actually smashing it at the top there. And Bamos Rafa is up to fourth now. Yeah, John, John Hartley as well, doing well. Doing great. So got some of the regulars there doing really well. Uh, but some people doing really badly. But it's been one of those tournaments. Hard to predict, as we've seen again today. Yeah. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, like the video. And we'll see you tomorrow.